Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a blood splattered vlog. I almost fumbled my words there, uh, but welcome back to a blood splattered vlog. And uh, we're going to talk about For the Sake of Vicious, which is a Shudder original thriller horror movie um, about a nurse who comes home one day and there's a dude that's like torturing another dude that cl he claims raped his kid <laughs> and has to deal with the fallout of this. Yeah, that's the plot of the movie. <laughs> yeah, this is very much a movie in the vein of like Everly, yeah. Assault on Precinct 13. Yep. Um, any of those movies where it's like a small group of people in a confined space and every asshole in a five mile radius is coming in to kill them. Yep, absolutely. Basically, like like they're 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 in her house, and then for whatever reason, this kicks off a series of events that leads to multiple people trying to come in and kill them all, and they have to fucking fight for survival. Yeah. So this movie <laughs> is not. This movie has spoilers, but the movie is not about so much the twists and turns yeah. of the characters so much the is the crazy thing that happens next there is a big question of whether or not the dude actually raped the dude's like kid um we'll talk about that in the spoiler section because there's actually like an answer to this question um yeah uh but uh that's the only that's the major big spoiler really there yeah is that yeah because every everything else is kind of basically oh my god these maniacs are trying to break into the house yeah. like the first you know? <laughs> the first like 30 minutes of the movie the tension is did this guy even do it does he deserve this fucking like like what's happening here and then the next 30 minutes are, is what the fuck is happening who are all these people why are they doing this? yeah 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 and then the last 30 minutes are holy shit i can't believe anyone's gonna survive this <laughs> yeah because it very quickly goes from like three people in a confined space were we don't know whether this guy deserves to die or not. And yeah. we're arguing over or not, we, whether or not he should be killed. Yeah. And it's very clear that even the guy who has brought the guy in to torture him isn't like a hundred percent sure. Yeah. He's like 90% sure, but like that last 10% is bothering him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And you as an audience member, like, like when he's giving all his evidence, like you're trying to calculate it in your head and you're like, I don't know, man. I don't know if that evidence is enough. Yeah. Like not 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 to fucking like break his kneecaps, you know? Like yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> but as things go on, you do find yourself going, okay, well, one thing I do, do know, whether or not he raped that girl's daughter, he's a bad guy. Yes, yes. He's still a bad person, just maybe not the bad person that he thinks they, they that think he, he thinks is. he is. Yeah. Yeah. He may not have done this particular <laughs> bad thing. You know, and you have this fucking poor nurse caught in between this shit while everything's going to hell and her house is getting torn up by all these people coming in trying yeah. to kill them. And it's just, it's a wild ride of a movie. And I'll be honest, when we first started watching the movie, I wasn't sure whether I was going to like it because it started off a little rocky. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It was like, it, it, when it starts out, it's sort of like, oh God, is this going to be like a, a, a like a really lame version of the Blue Ruin? Yeah, yeah. You know, or, or Blue Ruin. And it's just like, ah. Uh, and that's when they give you the real movie, yeah. which is every maniac trying to get into the goddamn house. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and then it escalates and escalates and escalates and gets wilder, wilder and wilder, much like Everly does. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that like it really starts to fucking shine because at the beginning, a lot of the acting felt a little shaky. It wasn't bad. No, no, no. It's never outright bad, but there are definitely some times where you're like. Wait, is this is the character conflicted or was yeah. that just a bad take? It, it was it, was it wasn't bad. It was just very 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 middling for 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 the beginning of the movie and I'm like, okay, well I feel like if I'm going to want to be invested in this, I really need to be invested in this father guy as well as the nurse, but I'm not like super invested in them right now, so like yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how I feel. And then the men with the motorcycle helmets bust in. Yeah. <laughs> and then the movie just goes Nuts! It's amazing how quickly you get on the side of a character when they're dealing with a fucking horde of motorcycle fucking yeah, bat, like motorcycle, bat. essentially motorcycle mutants. Yeah, yeah. Because like they're not mutants; they're thugs. Thugs, but like, yeah. yeah. But like they, but like in Assault on Precinct Thirteen, there's that kind of aspect of are are, are these guys like supernatural? <laughs> like you put five bullets in that guy. 
And then the movie gets bloody as all hell. Like we're watching people get in their throats slit. Like people are getting shot, and it, we get like some Paul Voorhees type squibs. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Like, oh dude. Oh god. The, there's one point where the the she ki kills the motorcycle guy by stabbing him in the face. Oh yeah. And so his eye, until she stabs him in the eye, and it fucking comes out. My favorite part about this oh, is this does not kill him. He keeps coming after them. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. He's like ah. <laughs> That's what I mean by like, is, is he a zombie? Like, Here's the other shit. aspect of this movie. This movie is also set on Halloween. So everyone's wearing masks or motorcycle gear. Yeah, it's the excuse for why everyone's dressed so weird. Yep. You know? <laughs> now, it yeah, it takes you about the middle of the movie to realize what kind of movie it actually is. Yeah. Because in the beginning, you're like, oh, is this going to be like a like a slow fucking psychological yeah. like for a minute i thought it was going to be a slow burn like psychological thriller with elements of torture yeah um, yeah uh centered around did this guy do it did he not and we yeah. were going to get like a like um a different perspective kind of situation like 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 maybe like a um uh, what's it called um uh the fucking kurosawa film um Oh, Rashomon. Yeah, maybe yeah. like a Rashomon kind of thing as the movie goes on. Um, and that's when I was a little worried because I was like, that's not a bad idea, but I'm worried since the acting's a little middling here that I'm not gonna be as yeah, invested that, as I the, should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 that, ooh, if this movie is trying to do that, then it's already off on the wrong foot Do if it's trying yeah. to do that. Like you can pair that to like something like you said, like Blue Ruin. Yeah. And the actor at the center of Blue Ruin Super is so good, good that yeah. you're so invested in him and he's so compelling. You know, that it drives the entire movie, that the fact that it's basically a revenge plot with the world's most, like, incompetent, like, fucking, like, revenge actor. Yeah. <laughs> um, it works because you're so compelled with the character. But if the, if, the, if the acting's middling and you're not super invested in the characters, then a movie that tries to do that is probably not going to be as effective. Right. When this movie escalates and starts becoming more of an action movie, like in an Everly style action movie where it's really yeah, gory and fucked up. Yeah, that's when it really shines. That's, yeah. when the, that's the real movie. That's how weird the you know? real movie is. And you really start to like the father like when you start seeing him just be this ruthless fucking badass taking them yeah, out by one. Yeah, yeah. Like, and you just sort of like, well, it also gives this kind of depth to him because you start to go like, oh, this guy is not like some innocent dad. This man's a killer. He clearly is because not only did he take out all the men he had to take out in order to take this guy in the first place. Yeah. But the uh, all these men that he takes out in the middle of this fucking siege. Yes. <laughs> Jesus you know, Christ. It's like he, like he starts the movie as like crying dad and then by the end of it, he's like fucking Charles Bronson's taking notes. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, I, w I wouldn't say something like John Wick because John Wick is way too smooth. Well, he's he's, it, too, it, he's he's a cold-hearted killer. Yeah, yeah. This guy is already hot. Yeah, he's gone in hot. Yeah. You know? Um, but it becomes great at that point. And honestly, there's not too much to talk about with that because it just becomes an action movie. It's awesome action yeah. scenes after awesome action sh scenes with each scene escalating from the last scene, you know? Exactly. You know, it's like, it's I forget, did a, did a flamethrower get used in this movie? I don't remember I if don't there was a flamethrower. There was a flamethrower, exactly. I think someone's face did get burned off somehow though. There was a lot of shit that happens in the kitchen with various utensils. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. A, uh, <laughs> this a, house is pretty much wrecked by the end. There's of a it. lot of stabbings and shootings and like kneecap busting. Yeah. Oh my god. Then there's that great like fucking uh, mad rush with the fucking closet door to just oh, try yeah. to get past that one guy. <laughs> It's a fucking wild movie. I enjoyed it. I ended up enjoying it a lot more than I thought when I when it started, and I gotta I gotta commend them for that. Oh know? yeah, it won me over. Um, I don't think it's gonna be the most amazing action movie you've seen recently, or the most amazing thriller, but I think you'll have a good time with it. Like it lives up to the name for the sake yeah, of vicious. Yeah, for the it's sake vicious. of vicious. It it is a vicious movie, and I I do think that like it, it may not like escape movie fandom, but I can very easily see if you future people like watching this movie and going, no, we gotta do it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do it like that. That's, we have to do it, have a scene where it's like this. Absolutely, I can totally see that. You know, like. Oh, another movie it reminded me of, um, uh, The Green Room. 
Yeah. It reminded me a lot of the green yeah. room too, especially since some of the biker guys are clearly like from the white supremacist bar. Yeah. Earlier on in the movie. Yeah. It's it's a lot however, it's it's a lot funnier than the green Oh yeah, room. it's a lot funnier, but it's just as brutal and as matter of fact with its like violence. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But like <laughs> it it is it does have that kind of like hobo with a shotgun yeah. kind of like the thing you know, it, the flavor thing, to it. The thing it lacks is having a compelling lead in the same way that Anton Yelchin was in the green. Correct. Yeah. Anyway, my fellow Gorehounds, uh, yeah, there is so much violence in this, but thankfully no animals die. So if that's a problem for you, you don't have to worry about that. And there's no children that die. So if that's a problem with you, you don't have to worry about that. It is currently available on Shudder. It is a Shudder original movie. So if you want to watch it, you're going to have to watch it on Shudder. We are not sponsored by Shudder. We're just big fans. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, we're going to move on to the spoilers because this is probably going to be a short vlog. There's there's only so much yeah, to talk yeah, about. Yeah, there's not much to talk about. It's a movie. It's another movie where the joy of the movie is in the watch and go watch. Yeah, it. absolutely. Because like, Sometimes you just love seeing an asshole get stabbed in the knee over. Oh my over. god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. So one of the plot points of this movie is as you, as you watch this movie, you start to realize that the dude who's being tortured, the guy that they're trying to figure out if he raped the kid. You're not sure whether he raped the kid because the evidence is very flimsy, but one thing becomes clear from seeing him yeah is that this guy's connected oh yeah he's like a crime boss like he's like a crime boss he's got men he's got a second in command and he's into some bad shit he's also one of those connected guys that like owns a bunch of the neighborhoods so yeah like like, like the house they're living in he's the landlord of that house that, that, that this is all happening in yep you know and uh and 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 over the course of the movie you kind of figure out that the that the nurse actually knows him Yes. But pretends like she doesn't at the beginning. Like everyone's got their little secrets, right? Yeah. The main character, the, the main, the, I guess the main character is the nurse. The, uh, the father kind of has the secret that he's clearly not just a father. He's obviously got right. like some is, sort of violent he history. Is connected to this man somehow. Yeah. He's got some sort of violent history and that somehow connects him to this guy who's obviously a crime boss and has rules over the town as, and owns a bunch of the properties. Um, yeah. And she obviously has this property because of that guy, but we never quite know exactly what that connection is, but it's very clear she knows him. Yes. She just pretends not to at the beginning. Yeah, because like, you know, there's a, yeah. there's a guy killing him in her house and you know, she's Absolutely. playing cagey. And, and there's two real like twists that happen throughout this movie. <clears throat> the first twist is uh, the guy gets free briefly, grabs a phone and calls his second in command. And when he does this, you're like, okay, so now a bunch of people are going to come and these the, the nurse and the dude are going to have to defend themselves uh, uh, while trying to figure out if this guy raped anyone. And it, even if he didn't, it doesn't matter anymore because now he just wants them dead. And you're yeah. like, okay, that's the way yeah. the movie's going to go. But no, well, no. <laughs> it turns out the second in command has decided to take this as an opportunity to seize power and sends the men to kill all three of them. Perfect opportunity and make it look like a murder suicide. Yeah. You know, there's a reason why, like, specifically, he tries to have them like slit their wrists and like. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. To make you know, make it look like a murder suicide. You know? Um, and that's the first twist: is that the second in command decides to take siege and like ends up going after all of them. So it's not just the, it's not just the two of them. Yeah, all three of them have to work together against this. Scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've and they've created enough of a. He, the guy has created enough of a handicap where this is why those guys don't just bust it with machine guns. Yeah. Because they bust it up with machine guns. Everyone would be like, okay, that's a power grab. Yeah. You know, like, and they've also created enough doubt into whether or not the guy did anything to anyone. Yeah. Beyond, you know, being an awful crime Lord, like actually raping the kid. It, they've created enough doubt there that you're, you're, you're you sort of, are okay with rooting for him a yeah, little just bit a when, little bit when yeah. he's going after his his the men that are betraying him yeah um and the second basically like i don't know if it's a twist so much as a reveal at the end of the movie is that it was actually his second in command that raped that the kid raped the, yeah and the guy didn't rape uh the kid but he did cover it up uh yeah 
and put himself in the center of the situation so that they could get off on it. Because yeah, because the, the, that evidence there's not stick. Yeah, there's not enough evidence on him, but if we cover up the actual person there's evidence for, then it'll be fine. Right. You know? Um, and there's also like the twist that like, like, oh, why was his fingerprint there? Uh, it's because he was having an affair with the guy's wife and he's yeah. probably been having an affair with a lot of people's wives was the vibe I was getting. Yep. I also got a little bit of vibe that like land, land owner dude, uh, mob dude was probably sleeping with nurse lady at some point. Oh yeah. Yeah. From the way she like, like, yeah, like definitely like she, she knew more, she knew, obviously knew more about him than yeah. she was letting on. And those are the big, like plot reveals and twists. Those are the big spoilers. You know, everything else is just action sequences of men coming in with like knives and then coming in with like machetes and then coming in with guns and then like, yes, <laughs> you know, and like, like guy with a motorcycle helmet and then guys with fucking like Halloween masks and like fights in bathrooms with screwdrivers and eyes. <laughs> like, yes, you know, and that's the movie. That's the movie, you know, I, I, I honestly don't have much. No, that's basically it. It's good movie, nice you know, and violent. I, I've gone and over bloody. I've gone over what works about it, all the action sequences, my criticisms are the acting's a little shaky, but thankfully the movie gets me on board despite that as yeah. the movie goes on. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh it's fun, you know? I didn't think it was gonna be at first, and then and then it became really fun. <laughs> You know, like if you're gonna do a movie that's that's the more serious version of this movie that I thought it was gonna be at the beginning, then you really gotta cast some really good leads to really get you invested in it. Like, you yeah, it. yeah, this 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 it was really good that it actually it became more of an action film. Mm -hmm. You know, because, it ended up working better as that. Oh yeah, it worked way it worked really well because you, it kind of like blindsides you. Oh yeah, it does. You know, because you're like, oh, this is gonna be one of those like meditative thrillers, and then just all of a nope. sudden, dudes nope. are just kicking down doors and fucking stabbing people. That was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, <laughs> surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Hello, man. Uh, the the dude, the dad, man. Call that guy hit points Charlie. Holy, Holy crap. crap. How much damage does he take before he finally goes down? A oh, lot. oh yeah, other spoiler. Um, the only one who really survives at the end of this movie is the nurse, but she survives with a gaping gut wound that is bleeding out. So she probably dead after the- uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably she might dead. have died after the credits roll. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know, and she like, and it's this really great moment where she crawls out through the wreckage of all the dead bodies and all the people or whatever. And she crawls out to the front door and there's kids asking for candy. Yeah. Because it's Halloween. And she sits there bleeding out, watching all the kids out on the street enjoying Halloween. And it's that moment of like, is anyone even going to recognize she's injured because it's Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> it's this nice, like kind of darkly humorous moment at the very end. <laughs> but like, oh. the the bad guys get so brutalized by the heroes that I almost started to feel bad yeah, for them. Yeah, you almost do, yeah. Like, they get like, oh my God, you have to take his kneecaps and then take him in his Dude, eye. And getting that, the getting him in the fucking face with that hammer. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Mm. Dude, like, no, that was one of those ones where I was like, Oh, that's terrible. But then that asshole got back up. I know. <laughs> just like, he still got the hammer in his face. Hit points, like, like yeah. the, the bad guys towards the end had higher hit points. Oh yeah, no, they got tons of hit points, <laughs> man. You just keep doing it. Apparently it's just a week of us watching video game movies. Yeah, I know, holy crap. <laughs> but I actually, kinda, I actually kinda like it when the violence gets that goofy. Mm -hmm. Where you're just sort of like, what? What? <sighs> what? Shouldn't you just lie down oh, yeah. and die now? Nope. At that point, like as it started getting goofier and goofier, I got more and more invested. And by the end of the movie, I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. For the sake of vicious, highly recommended. <laughs> Good stuff. So yeah, we could probably wrap this vlog up. We just recorded two vlogs and one of them was nearly an hour because we had a lot to talk about. Oh yeah, that was that was a <laughs> that was a movie with a lot of a lot, there's a lot of meaning behind that movie. This movie's a lot more pure bond. And I can tell that my throat is starting to get mad at me for talking for this period length of time. So I'm gonna have to throw it to you and ask, uh, where can they find you, Count Jack? Oh, well, you can find me at twitch.tv, count on at, at bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Been there. All right, all right, all right, cue me again. I'm gonna do this. 
Where can they find you, Count Jackula? Well, you can find me on twitch.tv slash count underscore Jackula, where I stream throughout the week, but I always try to stream at least every Thursday and Sunday. <laughs> Nailed it! Nailed it! High class show, folks. I try to, I stream throughout the week, but I try to stream every Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'd love to see you there where we talk about all kinds of crazy shit, like what movies we watched. Uh, if you want to like a little bit of a sneak peek about what vlogs are coming up, you can come and watch me. And if the movie was really good or really bad, I'll probably mention it on the yeah. stream. Uh, won't go into too many details though, because I want you to watch the vlog. Yeah. Uh, we also talk about all sorts of like, crazy shit. I play a lot of horror games. True, true. And occasionally those horror games bring us to talk about crazy shit, like my idea for a reboot of Bayou Billy as yep. a survival <laughs> horror game. You Did know? talk about that recently? Yep, true. yep. That was at the end of one of the other vlogs. You should check it out. <laughs> um, which one was that? Was that uh, the last thing Mary saw where we went off on that tangent briefly? Shit, I'm all turned around. I can't remember which vlog yeah, it was. Yeah, I can't remember which one it is. It's <laughs> one of them. It was either it was Super Deep or Mary saw. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you could, if you want to know exactly when I go on the Twitch, you can follow me at Twitter on count. What? You could follow me on Twitter at Counting Jack or <laughs> on Instagram at Satanic Jackula. We get punchy as fuck towards our third vlog. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You, Brain, there, there, there are brain. audience members that actually look forward to the third one the most because that's when we're just like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, <laughs> good, yo, 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 hyenas, yo, vultures, <laughs> watch us suffer for your entertainment. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Can I have another? Um. Anyway, point is, how about you? Y'all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Spider Cinema, and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, then be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decided to go the Patreon route, then even a dollar a month can go a long way. And if you made it this far into the vlog, then I want you to comment below, and be sure to comment below using the hashtag. Hammer smashed face. Use hashtag hammer smashed face in the comments below, and that way I know, that way Jack knows, that way the whole world knows. You watch this vlog all the way through. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, I'm gonna be smug for a moment because I fucking nailed that. <laughs> Even though I almost lost it a little bit when I was talking about the Patreon, but I, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I stuck the landing. <laughs> and I'll catch y'all later. Oh, I was wondering what the hashtag was going to be. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Got to make the cannibal corpse reference. Right? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. Because I was, I was, I was going to go sex pistols. with it. I feel like half of what the father does to all those thugs is basically a whole cannibal corpse album. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it definitely looks like a cannibal corpse album by the end. Of that. Yeah. You know, holy crap. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it looks like a fucking lock painting and shit. Like, Yo. What the shit? Yup. Uh, I'm not going to get over that movie. It was so fun. <laughs> uh.